Desert tortoises are federally protected under the Endangered Species Act and are listed as threatened. This means that they are protected from being removed from the wild, from being touched or harassed in any form. Extreme temperatures and low rainfall here in the desert make for a very harsh life for the tortoise. But with increase of human presence, they are now faced with new threats. Development, meaning that they lose habitat, raven predation, they're removed from the wild because people want them as pets, and then they also have to worry about crossing the road where they can be hit by vehicles. Here are some ways that you can help this threatened species. One, if you happen to see a tortoise while you're out hiking, take a step back and enjoy watching this tortoise in its natural habitat. Two, pack it in, pack it out. By removing your trash, you help keep the raven population low. Ravens are known predators of baby tortoises. Three, stay on marked routes and obey the posted speed limits. By driving slow, you will be more likely to see tortoises that may be in or on the roads. Tortoises are commonly seen on the road here in Joshua Tree National Park. They're traveling from burrow to burrow within their home range. They're looking for mates. They're looking for wildflowers, which are their natural food source. And they also might be drawn to the road where there's standing puddles of water from rain. Only in an emergency situation where a tortoise is in imminent danger of being killed by a vehicle on the roads, do we suggest moving it. If you happen to see a tortoise on the road that's not in immediate danger of being hit or is moving off the road on its own accord, give it plenty of space, play tortoise crossing guard, providing for your safety first, and allow for the tortoise to move off on its own. In the unlikely event that you do have to move a tortoise, here are a few simple instructions. One, use a barrier if available. This could be gloves, it could be a t-shirt, or it could also be a page from the newsletter. By using a barrier, this helps decrease the spread of the upper respiratory tract disease that we can carry from tortoise to tortoise. And if you don't have something to use, that's okay. The most important thing is to get the tortoise out of harm's way. The general public will rarely, if ever, need to handle multiple tortoises in one day. Two, move it low and slow. Pick it up with both hands, keeping it level and a few inches off the road. You want to walk it slowly to the side of the road. Three, move it in the direction that it was already going. These tortoises know where they want to go. If you put it on the back on the wrong side of the road, the tortoise is just going to turn around and cross the road again. Four, move the tortoise about 50 to 100 feet off the road and place it in a shady spot. It will move off on its own when it's ready. One of the reasons that tortoises should not be harassed or touched outside of an emergency situation is that they can void their bladder or pee. Desert tortoise are walking canteens of the desert. They can carry their water in their bladder for up to a year. If they void their bladder and there are no grasses or wildflowers for them to eat to replenish this water, this can be potentially fatal. The greatest threats to the desert tortoise result from human activities. Our actions have a direct impact on the survival of this desert species. Will you see tortoises on your next visit to Joshua Tree National Park?